Hey everybody, today we're going to be making a paint game on Scratch. So this is what it's going to look like in the end. Um, so first when you click on the green flag, then our pencil activates. And first things first, you can just draw whatever you want with the pencil. Um, and you can choose whatever color you want to draw with. And let me show you, you can change it to red, even yellow, black. You can even add your own colors if you want to. You can also change the width of the pencil. So if you made it like 20, then it will be a very thick line and a very thin line if it's just one. Next you can use the eraser and erase all your drawings. You can also change the width of the eraser to um, erase bigger things faster. And to clear all, you just click on this X button. Okay, so let's get started. Um, first, you're going to want to open this link over here, rpf.io forward slash paint um, hyphen box hyphen on. Um, I already have it right here, so I'm just going to click on it, and it should open a scratch project that's already made. And when you open it, it should have a pencil and eraser and no code inside. So first, we can't start programming in this directly because this is owned by somebody else. So first, you have to click on this remix button at the top right here, and then it duplicates the project for you, and then you can uh, rename it whatever you want and code in it. Um, so I'm just going to call it paint box. Okay, and now we have our own project. So first we want to add the pen extension so we can uh, make the, pe the pencil actually draw. So to do that, you click on this uh, blue icon right here with two blocks and a plus sign. And then you click on this pen uh, category and then a pen category will appear with all these extra blocks. So first we want to we want the pencil to move to wherever our mouse is. So when the green flag clicked, then get the forever loop and go to motion and always go to mouse pointer. So it will always follow our mouse. And then we also want to get an if then else loop and check if our mouse is down, then we also want to start drawing, which means pen down and if not, then pen up. So now we can start drawing. Okay, cool. So right now we can't control the color of the drawing, but let's do that in a second. Also, if your pencil is not drawing from the exact tip, and mine's a little bit off right now as well, um, you have to go to costumes and make sure that the tip of the pencil is lined up with this target thing right here. So you just have to select the entire pencil using the cursor um, tool and then move it over until it's the tip of it, it's touching the target. And now when I start doing it again, it should be at the exact tip. There we go. So to add different colors, um, first we want to go to costumes and this is in the pencil sprite and duplicate the pencil to as many colors as you want. So I'm going to be having five colors, blue, green, yellow, red, and black. Uh, so I'm going to duplicate it four times so we have five colors, uh, five pencils in total. And now you want to rename each pencil to whatever color it's going to be. Um, pencil yellow. And also, you can color the pencil itself to that specific color. So like this, I'm going to color yellow using the fill tool right here. And then just click on the middle and it all turns yellow. And I'll make this one green. There we go, now we have multiple costumes. This is all one sprite, but multiple costumes with different colors in it. Okay, now we wanna make five different sprites, or how, however many sprites, however many colors you want. That's how many sprites you're supposed to make. Um, one for each color. So, you go here. First, I wanna get the blue. So you wanna make a square so that you can click on it. Um, to choose what color you want it to be. And put it in the center right there. But and then I'm going to, and then you're supposed to duplicate all the sprites for each different color. Okay, now we have all our different sprites for our different colors. So I'm just going to put them here in the bottom left in order. Um, also, you can change the size 
using this size parameter right here if they're too big or too small. I'll make them all 80. 80 looks like a good number here. Okay. Now name each colored sprite to the color it is. Um, this is actually not required, but I'm just going to do it to make things easier. And now go into each individual sprite and go to the code section and go to events and get the when the sprite click block. And we want to just broadcast whatever color is being clicked. So let's call this blue. And then same thing for the rest of the sprites, except uh, there's corresponding colors. Okay, so we want to use this message that we've just broadcasted and change the pencil accordingly. So go to your pen or your pencil and get the when I receive blank. So switch it to whatever color you want to do first. And then when it receives blue, for example, first we want to switch the costume to blue pencil. And we also want to go to pen and set pen color to this color, blue. And then I'm just going to duplicate this and do the same for the rest of them. So once again, basically all it's saying is that when when one of these sprites is clicked, it broadcasts a message that name is that color, and then when the pencil receives that message, then it changes to the color that it clicked, and it also starts drawing that color. Also, if you want to have a default color, you can put it right here when the green flag is clicked. So you can go to uh, set pen color to, for example, blue. It's going to be my default color. And then I'll also want to change my costume to pencil blue. Now also I'm going to add one last thing over here at the beginning of the when uh, green flag clicked. I'm going to add an erase all. Um, just to clear everything up every time I start a new game. Okay, so let's test it out. First I can draw with blue. And then I can change it to yellow. Oh, yeah, there we go. Draws yellow. And change it to green. You can change it to red and even black. Okay, so now let's add the clear all feature to our paint game. So first go to choose a sprite and let's get the X block sprite, which is already in scratch. Block X. There we go. Um just put it right here. I'm gonna change it to red. You don't you don't have to. There we go, red just looks a little bit better I think. And then I'm gonna put it right here at the corner. And the code for the array saw is very simple. It's just um, events when this sprite is clicked, then pen and clear all, or array saw. Next, let's go back to our pencil, or to our eraser, and let's show it. And I'm gonna put it right here, maybe make it a little bit bigger. Um, so first, Let's get the when this sprite clicked. We want to broadcast a new message called eraser. And you might have noticed earlier that in our pencil sprite, there was already a costume that says eraser. That's called eraser, and it looks like an eraser. So we can use that to our advantage. So just like all the other colors, this time whenever we receive eraser, we can switch to costume um, eraser. And I accidentally already clicked on it, and you can see it switched to eraser. Uh, and now let's also set our pen color 
to white. So technically it's not actually erasing. It's just whitening everything out to the color of the canvas just by using this paint icon and clicking on the canvas like like so. And now when I try to color or erase, it doesn't make any lines whatsoever. Now, we just have one more problem, and that's that you can accidentally end up coloring behind the black stuff, or not only the black stuff, but all the color and eraser icons, which also makes it a little bit hard to select these colors, because you have to keep the pencil perfectly still. So to fix that, we can make sure that our pen down is only when it's when when our pencil is in the uh, area of the canvas where it's supposed to be able to draw. So to do that we can get an operator, the and operator, and check not only if mouse is down but also if uh, in sensing if mouse y is another operator greater than negative 120. So basically Negative 120 is the Y at which all these eraser and clear all and everything start appearing. So everything above this is a safe game. And also let me decrease the size of the eraser because it's kind of cutting uh, above that. So let me just make it like, actually 30 will probably be better. Yeah, let me put it up here. Okay, and now let me put this operator back inside the if when I start drawing. The blue draws nicely and it works pretty well until we get to negative 120 and it's not letting me draw anymore. Okay, perfect. So let me clear all. Okay, and lastly, we just need to add one more thing and that's the width of both the pencil and the eraser. So, first, let's just add a variable called width. So, variables make a variable and call it width. And let me also right click on this and set it to slider so now we can adjust it as we need to now inside the forever loop of the when green flag clicked we can continuously set pen size to our width so uh, let me start the green, green flag and first just draw and then when I make the width like 100 the width is extremely huge so also, to change the range of the slider, because as you can see, our width is currently set to 100, and in the example that I showed, the maximum was only 20. So to change that, you can just right-click on it again, and click on this change slider range, and then I'm gonna set, I'm gonna keep the min minimum value at one, and then I'll uh, I'll put the maximum value at 20. So now when I clear everything, and I let me just reset this. There we go. And now the maximum is 20. So now I can start drawing and it'll only be that big, which is still quite thick. Okay, that's it. So let me just uh, clear everything and full screen and let's just do a review of everything that we've done so far. So first, when you click on the green flag, then our pencil will start following our mouse wherever it goes. Okay, and you can select whichever color you want your pencil to be. So I can select blue, which is the default color. I can select yellow, green, red, and black. And you can also add your co own colors if you so choose to. So let me just start with blue. So right now the width is set at 10, which means it's the thickness of the line will be about average. So let me just start drawing. And as you can see, whenever I hold the mouse down, the pen also goes down and starts drawing by itself. And I can also change the width, for example, by increasing it to 20, and it'll increase the thickness of the line. Now I can also decrease it to, say, 1, and it'll decrease the thickness of the line. And the same goes for the rest of the colors. I can have it very a very thin yellow, or a very thick yellow, or anywhere in between. Same with black and everything else. Okay, and now let's get into our eraser. So our eraser um, doesn't actually erase the colors. It actually just colors white on top of them, which gives the impression of erasing. And right now my eraser has a width of 20. That's why it's very easily erasing all the marks that we did. However, if I decreased it to one, 
And you could do very fine tune races like this and just barely cut through. And lastly, we have our clear all of function, which just clears everything on the canvas. And then once again, when I click on the green flag, it will reset our color back to blue. Okay, that's everything. Thank you guys for watching and see you next time. Bye.